The Phoenix Suns are one of my biggest winners of the 2023 offseason. The Suns executed a huge blockbuster trade bringing in Bradley Beal, and while people were quick to make jokes about the Suns' depth and lack of a bench, the Suns did a phenomenal job addressing their needs. Eric Gordon agreed to a two-year deal with the Suns on Sunday per the Athletic Shams, which was a cherry on top as the Suns inked seven signings that all had to take the veterans' minimum. It was truly a remarkable weekend of free agency for this franchise. What's going on, everyone? It's Luca here back with another video. In this one, I'm going to be talking about the Suns doing an excellent job so far this free agency and why I think this team just catapulted itself to a true championship contender. If you guys do yourself a favor, please hit a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more Suns and NBA content. I'll be dropping a lot of content this NBA offseason, so you definitely want to keep it locked and loaded on this channel as we try to hit 33K. Let's first talk about the Suns getting Eric Gordon. This was an absolutely huge move. When I saw this break on Sunday, I'm like, wow. The Suns got themselves a great role player in Eric Gordon. After beginning the 2022-2023 season with a rebuilding Rockets team, Gordon landed with the Clippers at the trade deadline. Over 22 regular season games, he averaged 11 points while shooting at 42.3% from beyond the arc. Gordon's shooting will obviously be massive for Phoenix as he'll be able to get a ton of open, clean looks that will be generated by the attention that Beal, Booker, and Durant all command from opposing defenses even at 35 years of age gordon will have plenty to offer this suns team then the suns made my personal favorite signing for them as they brought in yuda watanabe who had a lot of success playing with kevin durant in brooklyn watanabe is the perfect fit alongside the sun superstar core and watanabe had one of the best stretches of his career spacing the floor as a knockdown shooter with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. Watanabe converted a career best 44.4% of his threes last season, making life easy for Durant and Irving, as that skill will be so valuable with teammates like Beal, Booker, and Aiden. And Watanabe's size on the wing is an added bonus as well, as Watanabe will always give it his all. I love this dude's demeanor. He's always giving it 110%. You can never knock his work ethic and he can also contribute on the glass with his size so this was my favorite signing for the Suns. Yuta reunited with Kevin Durant obviously he's had so much success playing alongside Kevin Durant already Yuta is the perfect piece in Phoenix with that superstar core that they already have so look for Yuta to be a huge contributor to the Suns team and be a big factor for them down the stretch the Suns also brought in Drew Eubanks as Eubanks was quietly productive for the Trailblazers last season. Whenever Nurkic was hurt or out of the lineup, Eubanks did his thing. In 28 games as a starter, he actually averaged 8.9 points, 6.9 rebounds, and 2 assists on 1.6 blocks, proving to be a very skilled big man who can also protect the rim. His best stretch of play came after Portland signed him to a 10-day contract when he was waived by the Raptors following a trade with the Spurs at the 2022 trade deadline. As Eubanks averaged 14.5 points, 8.5 rebounds, and 1.6 assists over 22 games, which were all starts to close the season, earning a contract with the Blazers for 2022-2023. The Suns have also brought in Kieda Bates Diop, as Diop is a versatile forward who is willing to do all the little things to help a team win. He's 27 years old and he put together a solid 2022-2023 campaign with the Spurs, averaging 9.7 points, 3.7 rebounds, and 1.5 assists per game while shooting a 50.8% from the field and 39.4% from three. He can defend multiple positions with a long 7 foot 3 wingspan and he's improved his jump shot to become a serviceable 3 point shooter. Again, that's a huge thing to have when you got guys who are going to command a lot of attention. So this was another great signing in my opinion as he's also a willing passer and playmaker. The Suns also added Chimezi Metu as Metu played 66 games for the Kings last season averaging 4.9 points and 3 rebounds. The 26 year old is a small ball option at the 5. He didn't crack Sacramento's playoff rotation, but he will likely serve as a depth big on Phoenix's roster, and he will receive consistent minutes whenever Aiden or Eubanks are unavailable. And then, of course, the Suns re-signed some familiar faces, bringing back Damian Lee and Josh Akogi, as Lee and Akogi will be big contributors for this team, as Lee is a pure shooter who knocked down a blistering 44.5% of three-point attempts last season, and Akogi is a high-energy defensive-minded forward who started in five of Phoenix's six 
Western Conference semifinal games against the Nuggets. And it is important to note that free agent veteran guard Darren Collison worked out for the Phoenix Suns last week as Phoenix remains aggressive in searching for complementary players. So we'll see if Phoenix continues their rampage this offseason and they do end up bringing in a veteran guard to complete this puzzle. All in all, the Phoenix Suns have done a wonderful job this offseason. I mean, when you look at the masterclass pulled off by James Jones and Matt Ishbia and company, like, you got to give them credit where credit's due. You got to give these guys their flowers. As you look at what the Suns management were able to do, they basically replaced Landry Shaman and Chris Paul with Bradley Beal, Eric Gordon, plus filled out the rest of the roster with solid role players who are going to immediately make their impact on this team. That is just amazing across all boards what this team has been able to do with so little in which they were working with going into this free agency period so the suns are obviously all in we know that and they're not fooling around they know it's championship or bust next season and after these moves i would actually put the suns in the same tier as the nuggets who lost two big pieces by the way in bruce brown and jeff green now trades can still happen to shake up rosters but right now the Suns look to be a top contender in the West. I think this team's going to be absolutely fun to watch, but you look at the balance this roster has. They got star power. They got the depth. They got guys who will be great in their roles. So Phoenix, they're going to be no joke. This team, I think, is going to be as advertised. Remember, Frank Vogel is the new coach over there as well. So I think this is going to be the best version of the Suns that we've ever seen. And remember, Kevin Durant's going to have a full season with the Suns playing alongside Devin Booker full off season to get everybody well acquainted with one another no more excuses now for Phoenix if you can't get it done with this roster this team I don't know when they're going to win a championship this is their best chance at it and you know management is aware of that that's why they've been ultra aggressive making the Bradley Beal trade and then getting busy this past weekend by filling out the rest of the roster nicely so yeah I'm a big fan of what the Suns have done I would have them right now as my biggest winner of free agency unless something drastic happens. But yeah, this team did what they needed to do. And now it's going to be about if they can perform and produce the results that fans are patiently waiting for. So let me know what your reaction is to the Suns, guys. What is your reaction to what the Suns have been able to do? And let me know what your thoughts are on some of these moves. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Again, guys, hit a like on the video. It does up a ton. Please subscribe to the channel for more Suns and NBA content. That is it for me. This is Lucas signing off. As always, thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you all again in the next video.